Welcome back to the ESPN Sports Science NFL Draft Special. Potential shutdown cornerbacks are always in demand. And one of this year's prospects with the tools to be a first round pick was Nebraska's Prince Amukamara. One asset that vaulted him up the draft board was his incredible range. And with the 19th pick in the first round, Prince became a giant. Prince Amukamara, cornerback. Intercepted. University of Nebraska. At six feet, 206 pounds, Prince Amukamara, the Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year, has big hops. Prince's standing reach of 92 inches and his 38 inch vertical leap mean that from a standing start, Prince's 30.5 inch arms can cover 176 square feet. In our lab, Prince clocks a top speed of 19.63 miles an hour, the fastest of any draft prospect we tested in the lab this year. What happens when Prince adds this kind of velocity to his leaping ability? Three, two, one, go! Full speed, as Prince launches, he extends his right arm for the catch. He calculates the trajectory of the ball, and amazingly, in just 57 hundredths of a second, adjusts his body mid-flight to bring down the ball with his left hand. Nice! When I thought I couldn't reach with my right hand, my body just naturally stretched my left arm out, kind of like go-go gadget arm. Just grabbed it and caught it. From a standstill, Prince can get a hand on the ball almost 11 feet away. Put together his blazing speed, crazy hops, and impressive body control. And Prince can lay out over three times his body length. That means when Prince launches in a game, he can reach a ball over 19 feet away. Prince of Mukamara's 19-foot range is massive, and it's as big as the range we measured last year of one of the league's top rookie cornerbacks, the Patriots' Devin McCourty. The trenches are filled with massive bodies, and at 6'8", 319 pounds, one of the biggest in this year's draft was Colorado's offensive tackle, Nate Solder. And Tom Brady picked up some more protection when the Patriots drafted Solder 17th overall. Nate Solder, left tackle, University of Colorado. Doing the dirty work. What's your favorite part about playing along the O-line? Crushing the other guy. When everything in him is just defeated and you're driving him into the ground. Being relentless, and that's kind of the way I like to play. To test how Nate Solder takes on defenders, we'll have him attempt to stop this 300-pound heavy bag as it comes swinging straight at him. Three, two, one, go! Nice, nice, get it, move! Nice. Solder shuts the bag down cold, absorbing over 2,700 pounds of force without giving an inch. That's comparable to stopping a blitzing Brian Erlacher dead in his tracks. Since an O-lineman has to be mobile in order to execute the NFL's sophisticated blocking schemes, we've created a pulling test. You're gonna pull down the line and just slam right into our dummy. I can do that. <laughs> you can do that. I can do that. Three, two, one. Solder 
shooter breaks the light trigger in only eight tenths of a second, changes direction, and covers five yards in barely over one second. He drives the dummy up and into the ground with almost 2,800 pounds of force. As strong as hits we've measured by Dwight Freeney. Nate Solder is one of the biggest and most impressive athletes we've ever tested. We measured his vertical leap at 32 inches. That's four inches higher than the average vertical leap in the NBA. And at 319 pounds, Solder outweighs every player in the NBA except Shaq. Coming up, we analyze the draft's top center, Mike Pouncey, and examine the multiple skills of tight end DJ Williams when the ESPN Sports Science NFL Draft Special continues. Welcome back to the ESPN Sports Science NFL Draft Special. We typically hear about centers when they make a mistake, but they're the only guys on the field who touch the ball every down. And like quarterbacks, centers need to be accurate. Well, here in the lab, we enlisted the draft's most impressive center, Mike Pouncey. And the Miami Dolphins grabbed Pouncey in the first round with the 15th pick overall. Mike Pouncey, center. Here's some running room. University of Florida. To test the precision of Mike Pouncey, as he pulls the trigger in a shotgun formation, we line up the first team All-American four and a half yards in front of a two-foot diameter target. Go. Pouncey hits the bullseye 10 times in a row. How does he do it? You want to make sure you keep your wrist locked and just fire it back with a straight elbow every time. To take the test to the next level, we rigged a 300 pound sensored heavy bag to simulate run blocking on the line. We're going to measure how much force you generate into the bag. Boom! Three, two, one, go! With textbook blocking skills, Pouncey delivers over 1,300 pounds of force to the heavy bag. And again, never misses a snap, going 10 for 10. Of course, O-linemen rarely encounter stationary defenders. We'll simulate a blitzing linebacker with a swinging heavy bag. So it's coming, and it's coming fast. Pouncey will snap the ball to the target before attempting to stop the bag as it swings back. Definitely best under pressure, and I love being under pressure. Three, two, one. Pouncey fires the snap in just two tenths of a second. As the 300 pound bag, which weighs almost as much as he does, barrels towards him, Pouncey repositions his hands in just three tenths of a second. He stops the bag cold, fully absorbing over 1,100 pounds of force. And once again, he goes a perfect 10 for 10. It's like Ray Lewis coming at you at full force. Ray Lewis and Patrick Willis. The odds are looking good for Mike Pouncey and his brother, Marquise, to join an elite fraternity, twins who've made it in the NFL. <laughs>